today. Evans goes off and Fallis comes in at fullback now. Ferguson became the second Notre Dame man in history to rush for over 1,000 yards this year. 1,192, average 5.6 each. The tailback 32 in the ballgame just now. Now Montana rolls and throws the screen left. Taken on the left side by Vegas Ferguson. Got inside the 20-yard line down near the 16 as Fred Snell made the tackle. From the end zone, that's number 32, Vegas Ferguson. Play action, he'll set up the screen. A little half roll right, Lindsey. Screen back to the weak side. And a good block coming out by the guard. Vegas Ferguson makes a good cut. Almost picks up the first down. A little short. Vegas Ferguson. Knows all sorts of records at Notre Dame. 1,192 yards rushing on the year. Notre Dame record. This is Vegas Ferguson. He's got the first down with yards to stay. He's inside the 10 at the 8. First down and goal to go. Gerald Cook from the corner made the tackle for Houston along with Kenny Hatfield. Dan Devine along the sideline. Ball is near the 7-yard line. First and goal. Five minutes, 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Notre Dame is leading by a score of 6 to nothing. Motion across. Montana. Mastak cannot hold on. The freshman being Mastak. Well, Montana got all the time in the world to throw the football. Finally picked out his tight end, was right on the numbers with it. Just dropped it. So it'll be second down and goal to go at the seven yard line. Here comes Jerome Heavens back into the ball game. Palace is coming back in. Buchanan is going out. Ferguson is going out. On the second down play, Montana brings him up in an eye, and the wing back to the right side is Detmer. Detmer in motion across. Quick pitch to Heavens from the tailback. Heavens drives to the two yard line, where it'll be third down and goal to go. Notre Dame at the Houston two. Six-yard pickup by Jerome Heavens, who runs from both the tailback and the fullback in the Notre Dame eye. This time, Heavens is in the eye, pitch around the right side. Pete Palace in front of him, blocking. I thought Heavens did a nice job, Lindsay, getting down to the two-yard line. He's hit here about the six by number 10, Gerald Cook. Heavens now 19 yards and six carries. Buchanan is coming to the ball game. He's a freshman from Plymouth, Indiana, and Palace has gone out. Buchanan, touchdown, Notre Dame. Pete Buchanan, the freshman, 6'3", 220-pounder, drove in for the second Notre Dame touchdown of the day. From the end zone, let's watch Pete Buchanan hit in there with a lot of authority, Lindsay. The freshman, 225 pounds, known for his blocking around Notre Dame, but this time he goes off the right side, his third touchdown of the year. So we have a conversion attempt coming now for Notre Dame, and... Since they missed the first one, will they go for two here? Don't here go come. away. I was going to say, Benji, don't go away, folks. Bill Yeoman gets his beer offense working. They can put the points on the board so quick, it's unbelievable. Notre Dame's going to try a two-point conversion. And there is a delay penalty. That will cost them five. Did not get it in there ahead of the required time and so it'll cost them five yards puts them definitely in a passing situation now Lindsay. Uh, two point conversion and the, pass run run the, the pass run option is very tough defensively but now with five yards montana will definitely go upstairs but it back at the eight yard line notre dame at the moment is leading 12 nothing with the two point conversion coming they sit chris haynes out to a wide left Montana, rolls and looks. Throws incomplete into the end zone. Trying to get it to Hullahan, and so that conversion attempt fails as well, and the score remains. Notre Dame 12, Houston nothing, with 4 minutes 40 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. We'll be right back with more of Classic Bowl Week as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. 
This classic sports network presentation is brought to you by Ricola, the all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland. Seeds throat and relieve cough naturally. Ricola. We hope you don't mind us blowing our own horn, but Ricola, the original all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland, now comes in a soothing new throat syrup you're going to love. Ricola. This is NBA Live 98 with Mount Mutombo. Dikembe, how do you line up a big guy? Don't go there. What if they bring Twin Towers? Don't go both of them. Triple team. Don't go low of them. Okay, Nick. My landlord wants to raise my rent. Give them a dunk. And my mechanic's ripping me off. Don't on them. Don't on everyone. <laughs> Any questions? Dikembe says dunk. 360. Tomahawk. Alley oop. <laughs> NBA Live 98. EA Sports in the game. There are many ways to capture the look of a legend. The hat of a Tom Landry. The jacket of a Clyde Frazier. The slacks of a Jack Nicholas. But to really capture the look of a legend, just pick up the phone and order your official classic sports gear from 1-800-PROTEIN. Like this genuine classic sports network hat. It's got our logo on the front and it's available in green or white. And how about the classic sports polo? This old cotton shirt is steeped in tradition and tells the world you care about comfort and style. You could wear a pullover like this, but the classic sports pullover is much more dignified. This all-fleece jumper keeps you warm and cozy and lets you see what's in front of you. And don't forget the classic sports varsity jacket, an all-wool number with our name scripted on the back. It'll let everyone know you're part of a winning team. So join the classic sports team. Write to this address or call 1-800-PROTEIN to order your official classic sports gear. Call today and we'll have it to you in 7 to 10 business days. Show everyone that you're a classic. He changed how the game is played. The Doctor! A two-hour world premiere co-hosted by Julia Serving. Catch rare footage of the 76 ABA Finals and an unforgettable slam dunk contest. Watch Dr. J and the ABA Saturday at 6 only on Classic Sports Network. Hi, I'm Hall of Famer Tony Dorsett, and you're watching Classic Sports Network. Let's rejoin the 1979 Cotton Bowl as Notre Dame leads 12 to nothing. The Fighting Irish have forced Houston to punt with just under two minutes left in the first quarter. Now on fourth down, Jay Wyatt is back to do the punting. He has averaged 39 yards per punt. Gets it off. Weimer is deep. is on down there about the 12, 13 yard line. Notre Dame hit, got messed up. They did and hit a Notre Dame man and Houston recovered. It hit a red jersey and hit one of the Houston Cougars and Notre Dame thought it was a live football. They should have just spread out Lindsay and got away from it. It's going to be first and 10 Houston. 41 yard punt. Check it out. I think it hit one of the Houston Cougars back upfield. First and 10 Houston at the Notre Dame 12 yard line. Big break for Houston to get a touchdown. And they're going to keep off the scoreboard. Notre Dame is leading 12 0, but now the Houston Cougars have excellent field position here. getting it straightened out. Pete Williams, the referee. Dan Devine is over on the sidelines talking to one of the side judges over there. He wants a, an explanation again. I tell you, Dan likes to know what's happening out there with the referee. Well, he does. So now another official is coming over to confer with Bill Yeoman as Dan Devine speaks to the officials. So uh, Dan Devine is still pleading his case as we have one minute, 31 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Well, the rolling punt hit a Notre Dame man. Chuck Brown recovered the fumble for Houston and Houston has his first down and 10 yards to the 12 yard line. Danny Davis, the quarterback. And Love carrying and he gets inside the 10 to the nine yard line. John Hankard there on the tackle for Notre Dame. 
along with Steve Heimkreider. Dan Devine, the head coach of Notre Dame, has been warned, Lindsay, on the sidelines. If he comes on the field once more, it's a 15-yard penalty. Second down, seven yards to go. Now the pitch back to King, and Emmett King downs the ball at the 15-yard line for a loss of six. That's a perfect example right there, Lindsay. On a good field, they're going to execute these offensive plays much better. And it's very tough for a beer type offense when you have counter action, when you have. That's just the four, the Cougar. That's kept in an air conditioned cage on the campus of the University of Houston. Third down at 13 yards to go. Love is carried by a pass for 23 yards. Eric Heron goes far to the right side. Abby Davis, full pivot, sets it up. Goes it into the end zone. Touchdown for Houston. Taken there by Willis Adams. Willis Adams swinging for the touchdown. From the end zone, we're going to see Danny Davis. Uh, this wasn't a picture pass, but it was end over end, and Willis Adams was wide open in the end zone. The senior, his fifth touchdown of the year. There's Mr. Adams. He is playing in the East-West game next week, the one that you'll see right here on CBS. Kenny Hatfield is in there to attempt the conversion. Jay Wyatt holds for him, the punter. Wyatt puts it down, Hatfield boots it up, and it's good. So as they come back up the field, it is now Notre Dame 12, Houston 7, and we have 17 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. You're watching Classic Bowl Week on Classic Sports Network. This is NBA Live 98. Shoot. These young guys have no fundamentals. No fundamentals? What do you call a basic two-handed reverse photo op? But Chris, honey, did you see that bounce pass or a textbook big man can't drop step? Hardaway on four. Bugs. Hey, man, my crossover's sweet and fundamental. Right on, Mr. Hardaway. These guys need more fundamentals like they need more hops. NBA Live 98. EA Sports in the game. and leads in a heartbeat. It's opportunity. If you own a business like I do, you know all about it. You either jump all over it, or you get in the long line of shoulda and coulda. Opportunity? It's a million dollar idea. For me, it was knowing when to go out on my own. Or finding a tool that makes doing business easier. The gold corporate card for small business from American Express. It's easy to apply. Call now. The card started as a way to simplify bookkeeping. Today, it also provides savings at Kinko's, Mobile, and other businesses. And our dedicated small business services group offers savings on health and dental care, as well as equipment financing. They do all that so I can stay ahead of the curve. It's easy to apply. Call 1-800-SUCCESS. Let American Express give your business the power to do more. On Classic Sports Network this week, catch Classic Bowl Week for the greatest college bowl games ever. And it doesn't get any sweeter than back-to-back -back Sugar Bowl. Saturday, it's the 82 Sugar Bowl, featuring Dan Marino and Pitt against Herschel Walker and number two-ranked Georgia in a battle full of Marino magic. Marino goes deep. Then Sunday at 8, Heisman winner Herschel Walker returns to the Sugar Bowl with the number one-ranked team to meet number two Penn State for the 83 National Championship. Touchdown! Classic Bowl Week, hosted by Keith Jackson and brought to you by Burger King. Saturday, it's the 82 Sugar Bowl at 8, and Sunday, catch the 83 Sugar Bowl at 8, only on Classic Sports Network. We now return to Classic Bowl Week, as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. You're watching the 1979 Cotton Bowl between Houston and Notre Dame on Phi Beta Football. We pick up the action with Notre Dame leading 12-7 in the second quarter, and the ball on their own 12-yard line. We invite you to stay with us during the halftime intermission. We'll have the usual pageantry, and I also have an interesting guest on at halftime today in the Cotton Bowl. Tell you more about that later. Ferguson, and uh, he is tacked up at the 15-yard line by Jose Taylor, along with Alton Harvey. 
Let's go down to Frank Lieber on the sideline. I was behind the Notre Dame bench a moment ago, talked to Joe Montana. He, of course, plays his football in South Bend, grew up in Monongahela, Pennsylvania, says he has never been this cold during a football game in his life. Says the field isn't bad, but he said it's a problem keeping the hands warm. And, of course, the wind is a very big factor, and he can't wait to get it back. It's not too warm for announcers either, Frank. It's second down and eight yards to go at the 15. Very important first down coming up for Notre Dame and defensively for Houston, a very big third down situation, Lindsay. If Houston can hold Notre Dame here, Notre Dame will have to be punting against that win, and Houston should have excellent field position. Mitchell carried on the last play out to the 18-yard line. The third down coming up. Nine minutes, 55 seconds left to play in the first half. Montana has it. Mastek with a sliding catch. And he's right at the six, so they let check this one out pretty carefully. See about the possible first down. Looked like he picked up the first down. All depends on where he spots the ball. Play action. Going to the right of your screen. He comes back against the grain. Mastek has it, has it, slides down. Now uh, let's see where they marked it. Very important mark of the football. Looked like he marked it back a little bit. First down. First, down. first and ten for Notre Dame. Oh, that would have been a big one for Houston. They had to punt against that win. Do you remember a play year before last year against Maryland when Danny Davis went back there about his own goal line and completed the pass up the sideline to get him out of there and go on and win the football That's game? right. Oh, they were explosive. Put four or five touchdowns on the board in the first quarter. Nasdaq has caught two for 33. It's first and ten at the 23-yard line. That's Vegas Ferguson carrying. But he is firmly in the grasp of David Hodge, number 42, the junior from Flute, all Southwest Conference and All-American linebacker for the Cougars. Loss of a yard on the play. Misses second and 11 at the 22-yard line. Eight minutes, 58 seconds left in the half. Houlihan comes out to a wide left. Montana. Going long to Chris Haynes, incomplete. So it'll be third down, and 11 yards to go back at the 22. Chris Haynes, during the course of the regular season, caught 32. Had five touchdowns. Gerald Cook was covering on that corner. He's from Palestine. So far, Mr. Haynes has been shut out. You know, it's kind of ironic, Lindsay. The only really two parts of your body that, that you realize is freezing in a day like this are your hands and your feet. And, of course, those are the two most important parts of your body in a game like this. You can speak for yourself. I'm cold all over. <laughs> it's third down and 11 yards to go at the 22. Fumble, fumble. Houston got the ball. The Cougars have it near the 20-yard line of Notre Dame. It's David Hodge on the football. Well, this is the second time today that Montana and Dave Huffman have had a problem on the exchange from the center to the quarterback, and it is definitely because of the weather. Watch David Hodge react to the football. The big linebacker, the junior from Flute, has got it, and Houston is in business. They are really in business because Notre Dame is leading by a score of 12 to 7, but Houston has the ball first and 10 just outside the 21-yard line. Eight and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Danny Davis, the quarterback. And this one off to Love. Born jersey and all. He goes to the 17-yard line. Jeff Weston from Rochester, New York, brought him down. You know, it's interesting. You listen to Notre Dame players and coaches. They said last year when we had to get ready for Texas, we were up. We were playing for the number one position in college football. And he said, really, we only had to stop one player, Earl Campbell. He said, getting ready for Houston is much more difficult with the Bear. They've got more skilled athletes, and they are great. Andy Davis with the pitch. King has it inside the 10-5, down to the three-yard line, and maybe the two. Pete Johnson finally made the stop 
It is marked at the three-yard line. First down and goal to go. One thing about the Vera Lindsay, it doesn't matter what defense the other team is in. Here's the fake over the middle, reverse option. King has got it. Now watch him turn it on. 14-yard pickup. First down. And they only need about four for the touch. First down and goal to go at the three-yard line. Seven minutes, 41 seconds left in the half. Davis rolling and looking and throwing, and it's incomplete. It was Jurgaitis in the end zone. Joe Resty covering defensively. Just a little bit easier, and that would have been six. There's the big tight end. 6'5", 230. Ball City, Texas. Second down and goal to go. Houston at the Notre Dame three-yard line. It's Hubert Miller, the sophomore from Fort Worth, brings in the next play. Davis is one for three, 15 yards in the air, but that was the big one. It's a touchdown pass, and here we're getting a Houston timeout. Houston has called for a timeout with seven minutes, 32 seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Notre Dame with a five-point lead, and Houston threatening as they get a timeout. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning at the Cotton Bowl, where Notre Dame is leading Houston by a score of 12 to 7, but... Houston has the ball second down and goal to go, and they have it at the Notre Dame three-yard line. We have seven and a half minutes remaining to be played in the first half on a cold day in Dallas, Texas. Randy Davis, quarterback of the Houston Cougars, as he has throughout this ball game. He is a senior from right here in Dallas. One time worked in the Cotton Bowl as a penis salesman. He is a youngster going to elementary school within the shadow of the Cotton Bowl. Davis has got the ball, but Davis cannot advance. It was Jay Case who was hanging on to him. And it's going to be third down and goal still at the three-yard line. So the big third down play comes now for the Houston Cougars. Their guy is bringing in the next play. Number 85 reporting into Davis. Penalty markers down to the line of scrimmage. Davis gets into the end zone. Now there's a penalty marker to be checked out. So what's that all about? Davis took it in all right. Well, they had the counter option pass. Coming back to the weak side, I think it's still going to go against Illegal Houston. Illegal motion against Houston nullifies what otherwise would have been a touchdown. Well, it's a big break for Notre Dame here, Lindsay. Here it is. Watch the fake inside. Now they come back against the grain. It's an option right here for Davis to either run or throw the football. He decides to take it in. I tell you, he's crazy. Illegal motion will move the ball back to the nine-yard line. Third down and goal to go now, just inside the nine-yard line. Jane in love with the setback for that man, Danny Davis. to the two-yard line. It'll be fourth down coming up, and it's goal to go. Pete Johnson makes a stop on the inside. Listen, third and eight is not necessarily a passing situation for Houston out of the beer. Look at that hole up front. And Pete Johnson right here makes a good stop. I think that was Jim Browner up from his safety position. Timeout Houston. And Bill Yeoman there with his quarterback. Any man knows the their offense is Phil Yeoman. He invented it. Thank you. Love touchdown. Love took it in for the touchdown. A quickness of Randy Love. He scored nine touchdowns on the year. Just straight ahead, Lindsay. From the end zone, just a handoff. Right over his right tackle, he veers to the outside, and his momentum gets him into the end zone. Houston takes the lead. The Cougars are leading it now 13 to 12, and they have a conversion attempt coming, and they have Kenny Hatfield in that about it. Randy Love, who took it in. Senior from Garland. The punter, Jay Wyatt, holds. Hatfield boots, and it's good. And so now the score is... The Houston Cougars 14 and Notre Dame 12. 
with six minutes, 27 seconds remaining to be played in the first half. The Houston Cougars led 20 to 12 at halftime, and there were stories going around after Joe Montana had thrown two interceptions in the first half that he literally had hypothermia. It was so cold, and he had come in with something akin to the flu anyway. Here's the halftime sideline report that was filed. We're behind the Notre Dame bench. Joe Montana did not come out for the second half. The team physician has just told me he has the chills. His body temperature is below normal. They're giving him uh, warm fluids, and he may be back before the end of the game. He says it's kind of like the start of the flu. And so the second half started with Tim Cagle at quarterback. And everybody kind of waiting to see whether or not the heat and the chicken soup would kick in and get Joe Montana back in the ballgame. Tired of playing Twister with messy rope, tape, and twist ties? Then you need the Handy Bundler, the world's first endless tie wrap dispenser. No matter what the size, Handy Bundler tightens to a perfect fit every time. It's lightweight, fits comfortably in your hand, and secures anything as easy as one, two, three. No more tangled rope, messy twist ties, and sticky tape. Now neatly wrap cable and TV wires for a better appearance. Tie garbage bags tight in seconds. Secure luggage to the car for safe travel. Look, ordinary tie wraps just aren't long enough, but the Handy Bundler's cord extends to any size. Large or small, it wraps them all. It's perfect to clean up newspapers, wrap audio and speaker wires, take Handy Bundler outdoors to support tomato plants, train ivy, or bundle an out-of-control garden hose. Keep one in your car for roadside repairs. You can even protect children from dangerous places. Take Handy Bundler to work to tame the wildest computer cable. Secure boxes for shipping. The Handy Bundler is ideal for crafts. Make your own dried flowers. Neatly store holiday lights. Decorate for any festive occasion. And the Handy Bundler is virtually indestructible. Even the law can use Handy Bundler to detain criminals. You'll find hundreds of uses for the Handy Bundler around the shop, at home, in the office, and on the job. Now, in this limited time offer, you get the Handy Bundler. Over 50 feet of durable nylon strapping that'll hold just about anything. And 100 locking clips, all for only $19.95. And it comes with this guarantee. Use Handy Bundler, and if you're not convinced it's the best tool ever, return it for a full refund of the purchase price. Order now. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-523-8338. Or send 1995 plus 595 shipping to Handy Bundler. P.O. Box 2987, Framingham, Massachusetts. For faster delivery, call 1-800-523-8338. You know all those stories you hear about how good it was and how much fun we had and how young we all used to be, about how much it all mattered and how much we all cared and how no one has ever done it higher or faster or harder or better. All those stories you hear, they're all true. Let's rejoin the 1979 Cotton Bowl as Houston has turned two Joe Montana interceptions into field goals late in the first half. They now have the ball again on the Irish 38-yard line, leading 20-12 with 10-15 left in the third quarter. First down and 10 yards to go now for Houston. They have the ball at the Notre Dame 38-yard line. We have 10 minutes, 15 seconds left to play in the third quarter, and Houston's leading by a score of 20 to 12. This is artificial turf here at the Cotton Bowl, and this time next year they will have new artificial turf and a new press box installed here at the Cotton Bowl. Adams is far to the left side. Davis with a pitch. King is coming back. Drops the ball. King simply takes it on a dribble and is down at the 48-yard line for a loss of 10. As Dave Weimer made the stop, it'll be second and 20 back at the 48. Just keep it bouncing in front of you and you're all right. 
Very lucky bounce that time. Came right back up into his hand. This Cotton Bowl game was a sellout, but as you see when our camera swings by the stands, a great many people, thousands of them, elected to stay in the warmth of their living rooms and watch the Cotton Bowl game on television rather than come out and watch this game in conditions that have been less than ideal. That's Love carrying, and he gets to the 45-yard line before Jay Case makes the tackle. And it's three to make it third and 17. At game time, the wind chill factor was sub-zero. Temperature was around 17 degrees Fahrenheit. But there was about a 25-mile-an-hour wind blowing also. And as Bill Yeoman pointed out, it uh, hasn't gotten any warmer during the course of the afternoon. Completed pass to the 25-yard line. Taken there by Willis Adams. At the first and 10 at the 25, Randy Harrison made the tackle. Adams, who caught a first-half touchdown pass from Danny Davis. Davis back, his third completion of the afternoon. He really gunned it. 20-yard pickup right over the middle. He's wide open in the Notre Dame zone. Randy Harrison on the stop. So the Houston Cougars are leading 20 to 12. There's Willis Adams. 6'2", 189 pounder, fine pass receiver. Average per catch is over 18 yards. Davis has it, and he pumps it complete to Eric Herring. Herring's first catch of the day. Jay Case made the tackle. It's just outside the 15 yard line. It'll be second down at about a yard to go, spotted inside the 16. The Houston Cougars leading and driving. They send Adams to the left side, Herring to the right side, Love's in the right set, King's in the left set for Danny Davis. That's King. Emmett King drafts at the 13 at the first and 10. Jay Case made the tackle for Notre Dame. Along with Steve Heimkreider. Completely in control. Now here comes Hubert Miller in with the next play. Davis starting to mix it up a little bit more, Lindsay, here in the second half. Throwing the football a couple of times, completing both these attempts. And it's King. And it's King popped as he got across the 15 by Joe Gramke. One thing DeVere does now, so Danny Davis, as he handed off to him as King, he saw the Notre Dame defense collapse. And he might be just licking his chops because of that, Lindsay. The next time, he's just going to fake it to King, and they're going to get outside with some running room. Second and 10 at the 13-yard line. And they send Adams to the left side and Herring right. Now, Davis keeps. Davis is at the five, and he is out of bounds at the two-yard line. Great balance. Jim Browner bounced him out. There's a missed tackle back here, but it's the quick feet of Danny Davis. Here he is, faked it inside. You see they tackled the handoff man. Now Davis does the rest on his own. He broke a tackle from Heimkreider and Randy Harrison. Got it inside the three. First down and goal to go at the two-yard line now. For the Houston Cougars, six minutes, 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Herring's going wide to the left side. Davis, touchdown. Well, they got... They've got Notre Dame's defense just guessing now. You really better not guess against the beer or you're going to really get hurt. This time he faced it and ducked back inside the handoff spot easily for the score. So it's now 26-12. Danny Davis there, the quarterback, and a good one. The version of depth is coming, and Hatfield is coming in to do the booting. Jay Wyatt will hold for him. Conversion attempt is good. Come back up the field to score. It's Houston 27, Notre Dame 12, 6 minutes, 29 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Bo and Ellie, you're watching Bowl Week right here on Classic Sports Network. Who is a man with brand 
man who's bright for his brother man. <laughs> Can you dig it? Who's a cat at Burger King? Takes the prize of his new thing. <laughs> Right on. Get hip to the new incredibly delicious Burger King fries. Hot and crispy, baby. They beat McDonald's fries in a nationwide taste test. I'm talking about Mr. Potato here. We can take it. You can use an ordinary straw and see the line after you cut. Or see the line while you're cutting with the new Woodhawk. The only circular saw with a sight line window. See what you've been missing. With the Woodhawk. Built by Black & Decker. In clinical studies, a leading pain medicine significantly reduced minor arthritis pain, increasing range of motion and flexibility. You may be surprised. The medicine in these studies wasn't a pill. It was Bengay. And now, when you use Ultra Strength Bengay for your aches and pains, you get the heating power of three pain relievers to help you feel better and move better. Ultra Strength Bengay, medicine for your moving parts. This is NBA Live 98 with Mel Matumbo. Dikembe, how do you light up a big guy? Don't go there. What if they bring Twin Towers? Don't go both of them. Triple team. Don't go all of them. Okay, Nate. My landlord wants to raise my rent. Give them a dunk. And my mechanic's ripping me off. Don't go them. Don't go everyone. <laughs> Any questions? Dikembe says dunk. 360. Tomahawk. Alley oop. <laughs> NBA Live 98. EA Sports. In the game. There are many ways to capture the look of a legend. The hat of a Tom Landry. The jacket of a Clyde Frazier. The slacks of a Jack Nicklaus. But to really capture the look of a legend, just pick up the phone and order your official classic sports gear from 1-800-PROTEIN. Like this genuine classic sports network hat. It's got our logo on the front and it's available in green or white. And how about the classic sports polo? This old cotton shirt is steeped in tradition and tells the world you care about comfort and style. You could wear a pullover like this. But the classic sports pullover is much more dignified. This all-fleece jumper keeps you warm and cozy and lets you see what's in front of you. And don't forget the classic sports varsity jacket, an all-wool number with our name scripted on the back. It'll let everyone know you're part of a winning team. So join the classic sports team. Write to this address or call 1-800-PROTEIN to order your official classic sports gear. Call today and we'll have it to you in 7 to 10 business days. Show everyone that you're a classic. The most memorable holiday stories of all time happen during Classic Roll Week. Visions of Sugar Bowls and Rose Bowls will dance in your head. Steve Jackson's your host for some of the greatest college football bowl games of all time. Tales of triumph and drama, thrilling action, and surprise endings. Who has the ball? So join us. A bowl week here on Classic Sports Network. All this week starting at 8 Eastern only on Classic Sports Network. Brought to you by Burger King. You're watching Classic Bowl Week on Classic Sports Network. <laughs> well, the cold is not bothering that particular section. Call me Ray. That's the gentleman I think that performs in all the Dallas Cowboy game. And the ball is teed up at the 40-yard line for Hatfield to kick it off. Got Stone back there with Waymer to receive it for Notre Dame. Filed over to Waymer's side of the field. He's got it at the goal line five. Waymer to the 10. Turns it on to the 15. Changes face to the 20 and is stopped at the 22. So Notre Dame will get it first and 10 at the 22-yard line. It was Barrett downfield for Houston to make the tackle. And Jim Cagle is coming out to run the attack. Joe Montana apparently has fallen victim to the elements in the first half. Reported during the halftime in a mission by the team physician that he had chills, light temperature, and so Montana has not come out. And Jim Cagle is running the attack first and 10 at the 22 for Notre Dame. again. You've got to start throwing the football, Lindsay, on first and second down. Right this will not work. In there to get to Vegas. Ferguson is getting up a little slowly. And if you don't think field position has helped Houston, they went 12 yards for a touchdown, 21 yards for a touchdown, 38 yards for a touchdown. 
They started, uh, they went 21 yards for a field goal and 39 yards for a field goal. So they started with field position inside the 40 every time they put points on the board. Illegal motion against Notre Dame. Decline second and 13 at the 19-yard line. Tim Cagle. Incomplete. So it'll be third and 13 at the 19-yard line. And completion stops the clock with 6-11 remaining in the third quarter. That's Joe Montana now. Joe Montana warming up along the sideline. Cagle. Going long to my son, and it is incomplete. Yep, they threw it right into the coverage. Exactly what Houston wanted him to do. He was not only double covered, but there were four red jerseys around Madison. Montana continues to throw. Fourth down has come up, and the punter has come on now. Bushka standing at his own five-yard line. Dick Bushka. Ron L.C. is right back to field it for Houston. Ten men on the line of scrimmage for the Houston Cougars. Oh, they block it, Jim. They block it. Houston has the ball. Near the 20 yard line, inside the 20. Great rush by the Houston Cougars here. They have 10 men rushing the kicker. They know he's kicking against the wind. Buska gets it blocked. Number 34 of Houston. Mr. Harrison, one of the linebackers. So once again, Houston starts just with great field position inside Notre Dame's 20. Bobby Harrison blocks it. First and 10 for the Cougars at the Notre Dame 19 yard line. Houston leading by a score of 27 to 12. And in good field position here once again in the third quarter. Davis has the ball. Keeps it. 15, 10. Continues to drive to the seven yard line. Pete Johnson brought him down. First down and goal to go. Houston at the Notre Dame seven. Now last year they controlled the wishbone offense. The great running of Earl Campbell, but they just haven't been able to even come close to the near. Davis picks up 12 yards here. He's got about 200 yards rushing now. Hubert Miller, number 82, brought in the next play. That's Love. Hits inside the five-yard line. The second out and goal there. Jay Case made the tackle. Case is from Cincinnati, Ohio. He's a senior. Jeff Weston, a senior from Rochester, New York. Also there, plays just alongside him. Now here comes Jurgaitis in with the next play. They alternate tight end, bringing in plays from Coach Bill Yeoman. Herring's going wide to the left side. Jurgaitis is the tight end right. Mitchell's called time out. They want another ball. Yeah, Chuck Brown, the center, wanted to exchange a football. Might have found some ice on that one. Could he get another one in play? And a tearing part of the left side. Second down goal to go. Houston at the Notre Dame five yard line. Davis has got it and it's a touchdown. Davis took it in at the pass. Well, Houston's giving Notre Dame a lesson to the rear. Look at him, he's happy. Davis trying to go 9 0 in the top goal as a quarterback. Beautiful fake inside. Now, this is what I was talking about. When Notre Dame closes it up, the handoff, Davis is going to take it outside. He goes in unmolested. That's his second touchdown of the day. He's also thrown for one touchdown. That's 33 to 12, and the conversion is kept coming to get a tap field. That's his conversion. It's set. And so as they come back up the field this time, the score is Houston 34 and Notre Dame 12. The Hoogers are running it up. 
We'll be right back with more of Classic Bowl Week as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. This classic sports story is brought to you by Degree, the body heat activated antiperspirant and deodorant. Jackie Roosevelt Roberts. How about Larry Bird? That's all. No one ever said I couldn't hit. Craig Ben Green Bay Packers. I must be the greatest. With Joe Willie, there was always energy wherever you went. And afterwards, I played with the Steelers for a couple of years, and they had great stars, Bradshaw. With nothing like Namath, who came in as kind of a with this bravado, like the anti-hero, the whole thing at that time. And wherever you went, there were people. And there were usually a lot of um, younger people, and a lot of them were of the female persuasion, and a lot of those were very attractive. So being a young guy hanging around with Joe Willie, you of course had some fringe benefits. Um, some ancillary good things happened, and uh, Bachelor's Three was always packed. Uh -huh. Joe was always the center of attraction, but uh, there was always, you know, some, some overflow and some activity on the fringes. One time I was with Joe Willie, and he took out his credit card to take care of it because he's a very generous guy, gave it to the waiter, and the waiter looked at it and said, oh, excuse me, Mr. Namath, this has expired. I said, oh, yeah, sure, Joe, I'll pay the bill. I've, I've been had before, but uh, it's a true story. <laughs> Jackie Roosevelt Roberts. How about Larry Bird? That's all. No one ever said I couldn't hit. Proud and Green, Green Bay Packers. I must be the greatest. We have some of Hollywood's hottest stuntmen to try Degree. What's body heat activate? As your body heat rises, Degree releases extra protection when you need it most. Uh, I heated up and it cooled me down. I was on fire and I was dry. Body heat activated Degree. Your body heat turns it on. This is NBA Live 98 with Mel Matumbo. Dikembe, how do you light up a big guy? Don't go there. What if they bring twin towers? Don't go both of them. Triple team. Don't go low of them. Okay, Nate. My landlord wants to raise my rent. Give them a dunk. And my mechanic's ripping me off. Dunk on them. Dunk on everyone. <laughs> Any questions? Dikembe says dunk. 360. Tomahawk. Alley-oop. <laughs> NBA Live 98. EA Sports. In the game. It used to be a really powerful computer could cost, oh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a few hundred thousand dollars. But lucky for you, you were smart enough to wait. Because this gateway system is just $24.99, complete with the most powerful Intel chip available, the 300 megahertz Pentium 2 processor. Now that's progress. Gateway computers feature Intel Pentium 2 processors. Call us and we'll build a high-performance computer for you. Drop in as Broadway Joe and Dick Schaap rap with the stars. You make a pass and it's all over. The Joe Namath Show, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Tune in and turn on, only on Classic Sports. We now return to Classic Bowl Week, as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. There is always one of them, right? <laughs> He's got the man he frees in him. Yeah, he's not running on regular. It's third <laughs> down and five at the 35-yard line. Now runs the option. And there's a pitch to Love. To Love is second down at the 33-yard line. Jump Browner on the tackle. That's King. bring up a fourth for Houston. Emmett King has 76 yards and loves 71. And they've been content here now for the past 10 or 12 minutes just to sit on the lead. They're leading 34 to 12. And Jay Wise is trying to keep his hands warm as he backs up there in deep punt formation to prepare to receive the snap. Waymer has dropped back deep for Notre Dame. Locked. Notre Dame gets the football. That ball can be advanced. And it's being advanced right into the end zone. And it is taken in there for a touchdown. It was Seeky, Steve Seeky. Steve Seeky, you, you can advance a block punt if it's caught in the air. Uh, so Notre Dame has its first touchdown since the first quarter. Here's the punt block right here. 
watch Steve Cicci. He comes up, catches it on the fly, and then breaks loose out of a few tackles and goes in for the first touchdown since the first quarter for Notre Dame. Conversion attempt coming now for the Irish. Seven minutes, 25 seconds remaining to be played in this ball game. They're going to go for two. Right now it's 34 to 18 with the conversion attempt coming and rolling is Montana and he throws and it's gathered in for two points. Taken in the end zone for two points by Vegas Ferguson. And so the score is Houston 34, Notre Dame 20. When we return to the 1979 Cotton Bowl, Houston is continuing to dominate the Irish. Joe Montana returns to the game, and after throwing two more interceptions, Houston is beginning to empty the bench with a 34-12 lead and just over 12 minutes left in the game. We'll be right back with more of Classic Bowl Week as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. Classic Bowl Week is brought to you by Burger King, where you can get your burgers worth. Who is a man with brand new bright one brother man? Can you dig it? Who's a cat at Burger King? Taste the fries of his new thing. <laughs> right on. Get hit to the new incredibly delicious Burger King fries. Hot and crispy, baby. They beat McDonald's fries in a nationwide taste test. I'm talking about Mr. Potato here. We can dig it. If you got a beard, we've got your number. The adjustable Maverick Beard and Mustache Trimmer with six different settings. Man, does this do a number on beards. Maverick from Norelco. This is NBA Live 98. Shoot. These young guys have no fundamentals. No fundamentals? What do you call a basic two-handed reverse photo op? A Chris, honey, did you see that bounce pass or a textbook big man can't drop step? Hardaway on four. Bug. Hey, man, my crossover's sweet and fundamental. Right on, Mr. Hardaway. These guys need more fundamentals like they need more hops. NBA Live 98. EA Sports in the game. Classic Sports Network presents This Day in Classic Sports, December 18, 1964, Ohio, after this. What if you could collect life's greatest moments? If you could just hang on to them and not let any slip away? And what if every time you remembered them, they were just as vivid, just as good? On Classic Sports Network, memories don't pass you by, nor are they carted off and filed away. They're front and center, and even sideways. Classic Sports Network, the only network where once-in-a-lifetime moments happen 24 hours a day. December 18, 1964, Cincinnati Royals Hall of Fame player Oscar Robertson scores a career-high 56 points in a victory over the Lakers. Over his 14-year career, the Big O averaged 26 points and 7.5 assists a game. Tune in every day for this day in Classic Sports. He changed how the game is played. The Doctor! A two-hour world premiere, co-hosted by Julius Irving. Catch rare footage of the 76 ABA Finals and an unforgettable slam dunk contest. Watch Dr. J and the ABA. Saturday at 6, only on Classic Sports Network. We now return to Classic Bowl Week, as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. who ran the block part in for the touchdown for Notre Dame. A freshman from Fargo will kick off and dropping back Eddie Wright and Lonell C to receive it for Houston. C at the 11-yard line to the 50. C to the 20. And he is stopped at the 24-yard line where Houston gets the ball first down 10 yards to go at their own 24. Let's we want to give credit to Tony Belden, the freshman for Notre Dame, who blocked the punt. All right, we have 7 minutes, 18 seconds left to play in the game, and the quarterback coming in is Delrick Brown. He's a junior from Luskin, Texas, 5'11", 160-pounder. Yep. 
series ago, if Notre Dame could have put some points on the board, this might have turned into an if interesting uh, last five or six minutes. They had it first 10 on the 11 yard line. Brown still has it at the 30 yard line. Ham tried to hang it onto him. It's second down and four yards to go. Notre Dame desperately trying to tackle the football now. And this is a, an official timeout for the injury. A Houston injury. It's Chuck Brown, the center, who is down. You know, we've had five block punts today. Three actual block punts and two partial blocks. Chuck Brown has really done a fine job. One of the captains there, a senior, Missouri City, Texas, really done a fine job for Houston. Holding his arm immobile as he comes off the field. Chuck Brown there, it is second and four for Houston. They have the ball at the 30. You guess that he's a weightlifter? <laughs> That's love, Jerry, and he gets it to the 33-yard line. Mike Calhoun made the tackle. It's a little short of first down yard. It's going to be third and about one. Heimkreider was there also. About two yards to go. Third and about two as they spot it. Delrick Brown brings the fingers up. A little short. Isn't a little short. It'll be fourth down, about a yard to go. Here's the final score. Alabama has defeated Penn State by a final score of 14 to 7. Running in is coming on, and Jay Wyatt will lose a kick. And Waymer dropping back for Notre Dame. Well, that's some kind of snap. He got it off. Hits it to 45. Rolled inside the 40-yard line. Call it 39, first and 10. A 26-yard punt. So Notre Dame gets it in their own territory. The final we just gave you is being announced on the public address system to the fans here at the Cotton Bowl now. The Alabama victory over Penn State. Penn State, of course, went undefeated during the regular season. Alabama lost one game. They lost that to the Southern Cal. Five minutes, 37 minutes, seconds left to play here. Montana. On the money this time. Completes it. Inside the 45-yard line to Dean Massack, the freshman tight end. First down and 10 yards to go. Elvis Bradley made the tackle. 16-yard pickup. Notre Dame trying desperately to get one, go for two, and come back with the onside kick. Dean Massack, the big freshman. 6'4", 230. Jerome Heaven further going to a left set. Montana going to Heaven. He's got it. Evans is out of bounds at the 14-yard line, where it's another first and 10 for Notre Dame. Now Montana's getting hot. He's called the comeback kid. He's done this before down the sideline. Jerome Evans makes a good over-the-shoulder catch, and he's out of bounds. 30-yard pickup on the pass. Notre Dame first and 10. Houston's leading 34 to 20 in this game. Montana throws on the run, incomplete. Trying to get it to Houlihan. There's a penalty mark to throw it. That's the two-yard line. Montana rolling out right, trying to get it to Houlihan on the square out pattern, Lindsay. It was Gerald Cook, number 10. Right here, Cook comes over the body. Interference call makes it first down and goal to go. Notre Dame at the two-yard line. 
and he's stacked up about the two. Play it'll be second down to go to <coughs> Vegas Ferguson carried Kenny Hatfield and Sam Proctor came to make the stop. Dan Devine. Lost across the way. Now they should get in and out of the huddle as quickly as possible. Lindsay, this is what sometimes befuddles me about football teams. They take almost 20 or 30 seconds. You should call your play and get up to the line of scrimmage as quickly as possible. Goal to go. Kevin stopped outside the one by David Hodge, the linebacker. It'll be third down and goal to go. Notre Dame wants timeout. They do. Notre Dame wants to talk it over. So they stop the clock with four minutes, 22 seconds left to play in the game. And Houston is leading by a score of 34 to 20. That's Joe Montana bringing the Irish up third down and goal to go inside the two-yard line of Houston. Montana's rolling. He's going to try to take it in, and he's got it. Touchdown, Montana. Notre Dame is on the board. Goal's still down. He really made a great determination, Lindsay, to get over the end zone. Montana on a rollout left. Option runner pass right here. You see the receiver trying to maneuver free in the end zone. Montana makes his mind up right here to get it into the end zone, and he does. So don't go away. This could be quite a finish. 34 to 26. There's Joe Montana. Notre Dame has just had a huddle along the sideline to determine what they're going to do now with a conversion attempt coming. Well, they come back this far. They got to go for two. That's what they're going to do. They're going to go for two. There's eight points differential right now. Montana's the quarterback. Rolls, and he's going to try to get to the flag. Now throws, and it's good for two points. He hit Haynes. He found Chris Haynes, his favorite pass receiver, and gunned it right in there. So Notre Dame picks up two on the conversion to score. It's Houston 34, Notre Dame 28. Four minutes, 15 seconds left to play. You're watching Classic Bowl Week on Classic Sports Network. This is NBA Live 98 with Mel Matumbo. Dikembe, how do you line up a big guy? Dunk on him. What if they bring Twin Towers? Dunk on both of them. Triple team. Dunk on all of them. Okay, Nate. My landlord wants to raise my rent. Give them a dunk. And my mechanic ripping me off. Dunk on them. Dunk on everyone. <laughs> Any questions? Dikembe says dunk. 360. Tomahawk. Alley-oop. <laughs> NBA Live 98. EA Sports in the game. You can use an ordinary saw and see the line after you cut, or see the line while you're cutting with the new Woodhawk. The only circular saw with a sight line window. See what you've been missing with the Woodhawk, built by Black & Decker. In clinical studies, a leading pain medicine significantly reduced minor arthritis pain, increasing range of motion and flexibility. You may be surprised that the medicine in these studies wasn't a pill. It was Ben Gay. And now, when you use Ultra Strength Ben Gay for your aches and pains, you get the heating power of three pain relievers to help you feel better and move better. Ultra Strength Ben Gay, medicine for your moving parts. Who is a man with brand new fries for brother man? Mr. Kennedy. Can you dig it? Who's a cat at Burger King? Taste the fries of his new thing. Mr. Right on. Get hip to the new incredibly delicious Burger King fries. Hot and crispy, baby. They beat McDonald's fries in a nationwide taste test. I'm talking about Mr. Potato here. We can dig it. On Classic Sports Network this week, catch Classic Bowl Week for the greatest college bowl games ever. And it doesn't get any sweeter than back-to-back -back Sugar Bowl. Saturday, it's the 82 Sugar Bowl, featuring Dan Marino and Pitt against Herschel Walker and number two ranked Georgia in a battle full of Marino magic. Marino goes deep. Then Sunday at 8, Heisman winner Herschel Walker returns to the Sugar Bowl with the number one ranked team to meet number two Penn State for the 83 National Championship. Let's go! Classic Bowl Week, hosted by Keith Jackson and brought to you by Burger King. 
Saturday, it's the 82 Sugar Bowl at 8, and Sunday, catch the 83 Sugar Bowl at 8, only on Classic Sports Network. We never called him anything but Mr. Rockney. He was meaningful. And above all, he was teaching kids how to be men, not just play football. The 29-30 team goes back every two years to the Southern Cal game. And the first place we go on Saturday morning is out to Rockney's grave, to Mr. Rockney's grave, to have mass for all the team. That's how deep it is. And this is 60 years from the time that he's gone. That'll give you a rough idea how deep it was for us. And it's still there. We love that man. Everywhere you go on the campus at Notre Dame, particularly on a football Saturday, you just feel that guy's presence. You know, Rocky didn't bring football to Notre Dame, but he definitely brought the magic. We now return to Classic Bowl Week as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. The ball, Steve Cici seeing the ball up. Well, Houston is up there expecting an onside kickoff, Lindsay, but there's plenty of time left, four minutes and 15 seconds. And I think the best thing to do, if Cici can get a hold of it, is he kicks it in the end zone. Of course, he's not a long kicker. They're, they miss Chuck Mayo in this position right here. There's plenty of time. I think the most important thing, since they've blocked the last two punts, is to keep Houston deep in their own territory. Still let Belden hold it for him now. An indication, I should think, that he's going to try to get it far downfield. Four minutes, 15 seconds left to play. Houston's leading 34 to 28. That's a six-point margin. Here comes Steve Cici. And it is a touchback taken in the end zone by Eddie Wright. It'll be brought out and put in play by Houston. First and 10, they have the ball at their own 20-yard line. Well, Houston set on that lead. They built up a 34 to 12 lead, only to see the fourth quarter win make a difference. And Notre Dame with a few breaks, a couple blocked punts, and they're right back in it. And here comes Danny Davis in there to run the attack. Delray Crown had relieved Davis earlier, but now it's Davis back in action since the lead has brought to six points. Now Houston must very definitely guard against the turnover. The first group is back in. As if it's to love, at the 20, 25, penalty marker thrown. Randy Harrison made the tackle. But there's a marker to be checked out. And it is holding against Houston. There was some observers saying before this ball game that the Cotton Bowl should be one of the most exciting of all the ball games because there might be 50 points scored. There have been 62 points scored, and we may not be through yet. There's the penalty mark off now against the Houston Cougars. And that tightens up things as far as Bill Yeoman is concerned. He had a first down. They got outside. Only to be penalized half the distance to the goal line, holding. First and 18 at the 12-yard line for the Cougars. Danny Davis brings them up. Throws to the right side. Davis, going to run it. Slips down. At the 18-yard line, he picked up six. It'll be second down and 12. He also stayed in bounds, Lindsay. That clock, as you see in the inset, is still running. Wamer and Pete Johnson were there. And the clock runs on with Houston meeting 34 to 28. Need a couple of first downs, and Houston will have won their second cup bowl in only two appearances. And Danny Davis has the controls of both wins, but Notre Dame here needs the football. Davis going to a high count. Gives it to King. King struggles out to the 23-yard line where Steve Heimkreider and Mike Calhoun close him off again to five yards to make it third and seven. And here comes Hubert Miller in with the next play for the Cougars from Bill Yeoman. 
We have two minutes, 59 seconds left to play in this game. The Fighting Irish want the football. Houston wants to hold on to it, pick up the first down as they possibly can. And then run it out. They're leading by a score of 34 to 28. And divide along the sideline. Third down and seven yards to go. Andy Davis. Incomplete. Incomplete. Tried to get it to Willis Adams. Dave Wehmer covered and had to make it a fourth down. Adams had it momentarily, but that young man, number 34, Dave Wehmer, broke it up. So well, now Houston has to give it up as the punting unit comes in. They blocked the last two punts. Jay Wyatt. Back there you saw Wehmer deep for Notre Dame. They'll try to block the punt, and if it's a high punt, if it gets it Rolls off. it back. The center rolled it back. Ball hits up at the 40 to the 45. Takes a Houston bounce to the 50. Wehmer dies on it at the 49-yard line of Houston. Notre Dame gets the ball in Houston territory. First and 10, a 28-yard punt. Very touchy. Wehmer falling on that football. If he didn't get it, it would have been ruled a fumble. 26-yard punt. He's got a good roll. So now, Notre Dame trails by six points. Two minutes, 25 seconds remain to be played in the game. The Irish with the ball first and 10 at the Houston 49-yard line. Joe Montana was a sophomore. This happened four times. He brought Notre Dame back. Turn out, and it's complete. The hand, Chris Haynes, but they moves it to the 43-yard line. They kept six on the play to be second and four. Tommy Ebner was there on the tackle for Houston. There's little doubt that the wind has been a big factor in this game. It has been the team that has had the wind disadvantage. That has done best in this football game here this afternoon. There's only been one touchdown scored against the wind, and that was because of a turnover in Notre Dame early in the first half. Second down and four yards to go. Montana. Penalty marker is dropped at the line of scrimmage. Montana knocked off his feet at the 50-yard line, but there's a marker. Good coverage that time by Houston. Everybody was covered. Montana had to eat it, eat the football. Get a preliminary signal here. Illegal motion against Notre Dame. Decline. Lost a seven on the play. But two down to pick up 11 yards. Third and 11. Buchanan is brought in the next play. Montana brings them up. Montana. And it is complete. Taken by Houlihan. That's enough for the first down, Lindsay. He needed 11. First down and 10 yards to go, and it is near the 36-yard line. Nice concentration by the freshman, Pete Houlihan. 6'4", 215 pounds. It's going to be a great one before he's finished. A 14-yard pickup on the sideline pattern. Right there, Houlihan got it, stepped out of bounds, and stopped the clock. Houlihan is a sophomore from Liverpool, New York. Here's a first and 10 at the 36-yard line. Montana. Montana's going to run it. He's at the 30-yard line. Drops the ball. The scramble is on. And Houston got the ball. Montana had the first down, Lindsey, trying to run the football. He got hit from the blind side. He hit his arm. He dropped the football. Let's take a look. Here it is. He wants to throw the football. Right up the middle is a gaping hole. Now watch, he's got the football in one hand and he gets hit there. He didn't get hit too hard, but on the right elbow and he coughs up the football. Tommy Ebner came out of the stack with the football when it was finally unstacked and it is first and 10 now at the 20 yard line for Houston. One minute, 50 seconds left to play. The seventh turnover for Notre Dame, four interceptions and three fumbles. First and 10 for Houston. Well, they try love, and he has stopped at the 18 yard line for a loss of two. It'll be second down and 12 yards to go. Gramke, along with Pete Johnson, made the stop. Bob Golick was injured in the first half of this ball game, and now we get a timeout signal. 
And it is timeout Notre Dame to stop the clock with one minute, 38 seconds left to play in the game. We'll be right back with more of Classic Bowl Week as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. This Classic Sports Network presentation is brought to you by Ricola, the all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland, soothes throat, and relieves cough naturally. Ricola! Ricola, the original all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland. Now available in Echinacea Orange Spice and Echinacea Honey Lemon. Ricola! This is NBA Live 98. Shoot! Young guys have no fundamentals. No fundamentals? What do you call a basic two-handed reverse photo op? A Chris, honey, did you see that bounce pass? Or a textbook big man can't drop step? Hardaway on four. Bug. Hey, ma'am, my crossover sweet and fundamental. Right on, Mr. Hardaway. These guys need more fundamentals like they need more hops. NBA Live 98. EA Sports in the game. Is it 5 sixteenths or 9 30 seconds? Does it take a standard socket or metric? What you need is Gator Grip. It's a single socket that fits any size nut or bolt. Gator Grip replaces this entire set of standard sockets and all these metric sockets as well. No matter what size the bolt, small, medium, or large, Gator Grip will fit it. This is what I used to haul around with me, but no more. Now this is all I need. Whatever the job, Gator Grip and Tackler. Gator Grip is quality made in the USA. It grabs onto any size bolt with the strength of a gator. The secret is these 54 spring-loaded pins. They retract to form tightly around whatever size bolt you have. Watch, this man is using a regular socket set. He has to change sockets with every bolt. But this man is using Gator Grip. No searching, no changing, he's done. Watch in slow motion with part of the casing removed so you can see the steel pins in action. Gator Grip is so versatile it can tackle these wing nuts, eye bolts too. It can also take care of those square nuts. And look, it can even remove broken nuts, stripped nuts, and rusted nuts quickly and easily. Watch it, a slipped wrench can really bruise your knuckles. But Gator Grip always holds securely. It delivers over a hundred foot-pounds of torque. Charlie's got a whole garage full of tools, but I've got Gator Grip. It does the job every time. Why spend hundreds of dollars on all these tools? All you need is Gator Grip. It's always the right tool, and it's yours now through this special TV offer. It comes with a lifetime replacement warranty, plus a money-back guarantee if you're not delighted. But wait! Order now, and you'll also get this power adapter that turns any drill or power screwdriver into a power Gator Grip. It gets the job done in no time. Imagine all the convenience of Gator Grip and power, too. This is one offer you won't want to miss, so get a grip! Get Gator Grip now. We now return to Classic Bowl Week as Joe Montana leads Notre Dame against Houston in the 79 Cotton Bowl on Classic Sports Network. And now here comes Danny Davis. And that'll run the attack for the Cougars. King tries it. He is not far off by Heimkreider and Case. Heimkreider. And Case there on the tackle. Spotted it at the 16 yard line. Loss of two will make it third down and 14. And they'll have a chance to block the punt, Lindsay. We want to thank the People from Notre Dame, President Theodore M. Hesburgh, Executive Vice President Reverend Edmund P. Joyce, the Director of Athletics, Moose Krauss, the Sports Information Director, Roger Valdeseri, Head Coach Dan Devine and his staff. Rolling is Davis. Gets it out there to the 24-yard line. We have 45 seconds left to play in this game as Notre Dame calls another timeout. I'm Kreider on the tackle. Notre Dame has stopped the clock. 
Let's go down now to Frank Lieber along the sideline. Everybody here on the Houston bench uh, is scared to death, as a matter of fact. Remembering what happened against Southern Cal, most people seem to think that the wind has certainly been the big factor this afternoon. The team that has had the wind has done well in each quarter that they have had it. Still not over, though. All right, Frank, it's Jay Wyatt who will be going to deep mud formation. We want to thank the University of Houston, President Dr. Philip G. Hoffman, Chancellor Barry Munit, Director of Athletic Terry Fouts, Sports Information Director Ted Nant, Ted Coach Bill Yeoman and his staff. Our thanks to the Cotton Bowl Athletic Association, Chairman of the Board, Buddy Dyke, President John P. Thompson, First Vice President John F. Scoble, Second Vice President Pri Vice President J. L. Huffines, Executive Vice President Jim Brock, Administrative Assistant Susan Stokes, Director of Information Wilbur Evans, Director of Press Hospitality Arnold Hayes, Director of Pageantry Harry Barton. Our thanks to all for making our stay in Dallas, Texas at this Cotton Bowl game so very pleasant. Now, back in deep on formation, goes Jay Wyatt. Weimer is deep for Notre Dame, standing at the 50-yard line. 46 seconds left to play in the game. Houston's leading 34 to 28. The snap. Got it off under a heavy right. Notre Dame was offside. It is rolling along the 45-yard line of Houston. Penalty markers are down. It will not be a first down. It was fourth down and six. It was. Fourth and six. Offside against Notre Dame. Well, yeah, quite a decision for Bill Yeomans here. Whether he wants to try another punt or whether... Dan Devine peering onto the field. Yeah, do you want to make it fourth and one and punt it again with a five-yard advantage, or do you want to let it stand up there at the 45-yard line? Well, I don't know. Notre Dame is out of timeout. Number two uh, thought to take into consideration. They've already blocked two punts. I think we ought to point out, we know that Bill's name is Yeoman. We know there's no S. We just try to give him a few extra <laughs> letters from time right. to time, do all we can for him. He's a great man, a great sense of humor, and the kids love him. One of the outstanding football coaches in this country, 17 years at the University of Houston. Well, they're going to mark off the penalty here now. And they're going to send Danny Davis back out there. It's going to be fourth down and about a foot to go, and they're going to go for it, I think. They're afraid of getting the punt block or a bad snap from center. 35 seconds on the clock. 35 seconds. It is fourth down and about a foot to go. Houston has the ball at the 29-yard line. And they're going to go for it as Danny Davis comes out there. Houston is leading 34 to 28. 35 seconds left to play in the Cotton Bowl game. I don't think he got it. I don't think he did either. King uh, took the hand off and hit in there. The Notre Dame players don't think he did, but uh, they are not the officials, so they'll spot the ball and then take the look. Good Notre start. Dame takes the ball on down. It's at the 29-yard line of Houston. Well, the Irish come up there. They have no timeouts remaining. They are up there ready to go as soon as the ball is marked, ready for play, and then the clock will start. 28 seconds left to play in the game. Houston leading 34 to 28. That's a margin of six points. Montana. 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 Well, he'd have to get it to the sidelines, and he goes across the sideline marker, but the spot is being marked up there at the 18. It is a first down for Notre Dame. And that'll stop the clock, Lindsay. In college football, the first clock does not stop. Right. 15 seconds. Notre Dame is ready to go first and 10 at the 18-yard line. Montana pops this one. And it's Chris Hayes shouldering inside the 10-yard line and down to the 8. What a finish. What a finish at the Cotton Bowl. The clock says six seconds left to play in the game. First down for Notre Dame, and goal to go at the Houston 8-yard line. This should be it, Lindsay. Time for one play, and if they're very lucky on a very quick release, they might get two, but I doubt it very much. Houston called the timeout. Houston called the timeout, and now Montana goes over to talk to Dan Devine. 
Well, he called the timeout. Haynes did get out of bounds to stop the clock anyway. Houston wanted to go over their defensive alignment here, and Montana, likewise, talking to Dan Devine over there. They've got time for one, and if they're lucky, two. So it's all come down to this. The Houston Cougars, 34. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, 28. Six seconds left on the clock, and this is the 43rd annual Cotton Bowl game in Dallas, Texas. Montana, who played the first half, then did not come out after the halftime intermission, and the report from the team position was that he had become chilled and was running a slight temperature because of the weather conditions. Then came out to relieve Tim Cagle, who had relieved him, and Montana has sparked the surge of Notre Dame here in the closing moment. Houston, a stout defense during the season and a stout defense at times here this afternoon. And they're trying to throw it up here now at a first and goal at the eight-yard line with six seconds left to play. Montana, incomplete. Three Try seconds to to hand. Three seconds, uh, two seconds on the clock. Two seconds left on the clock. Second and goal at the eight. Now Montana is looking over to the sideline to get his next play. Merv Johnson. Dan Devine over there. Well, you couldn't want a better finish. Could not possibly. Two seconds left to play. Clock will start on this map. Houston 34, Notre Dame 28. Montana going. And it's a touchdown. Hey. A touchdown taken at the corner. Unbelievable, unbelievable finish. Houston on top, 34 to 12, and now it's all tied up, 34 apiece. Was it in bounds or not? It was ruled a touchdown. A touchdown. Montana to Chris Hayes. Let's see if we can pick it up. Catch the camera angle here. The back goes out of the backfield. Montana on the sidelines, and from our vantage point, we can't tell where the feet. In college football, you only have to have one foot in. Notre Dame has scored the touchdown. Right here, Lindsay. There's a couple of Houston people just in the camera angle. Haynes caught the football. And here comes the all-important extra point. It's tied 34-34. Joe Eunice into a tip. It's up. And it's good. Joe Eunice from Dallas, Texas. Kicked the extra point and the game is over. Notre Dame has won it 35 to 34. What a finish, Lindsay. I've never seen anything like it. Notre Dame completely dead. Came back in the fourth quarter to win it by one. Notre Dame has won it 35 to 34 as Joe Eunice kicked the untying point. He is a native of Dallas, Texas. What a finish it was. There's still controversy down there, Lindsay. Well, there's controversy, but this 43rd annual Cotton Bowl is history. Offensive fireworks. Many had said this would be the game that would have the most exciting time of all, and it certainly was that. Although there still is confusion on the field, that is Dan Devine, the head coach of the Fighting Irish, but they have begun to scatter now. However, the teams are still along the sidelines. Nobody is headed out anymore, and perhaps there was a penalty on the conversion. Maybe not enough people on the field. Looks as if Notre Dame's going to line up for another extra point. And uh, having been penalized, Notre Dame has been penalized, and so they're going to try another conversion. It's still tied, as you were. It's still tied 34-34. Five-yard penalty. Five-yard penalty against Notre Dame and Eunice again. Oh. Well, Knaffel holding for him. What pressure. Knaffel will hold and Joe and Eunice will have to try to do it again. It's down. Eunice kicks it and it is good. Now Notre Dame has won the football game. 35 to 34. Having to do it a second time. Having to stand a five-yard penalty. Anything you want. Oh, I don't know what to say, Lindsay. Houston's got to be just unbelievably heartbroken over this loss. They were coasting along, only to see Notre Dame come back, and Montana has done it again. 